Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. All kinds of exciting things happening today. And uh, we're going to go into this issue about the video we just removed about Obama uh, and the UN General Secretary there. There's a lot of sources we were looking at on this. I'll get into that in just a moment. But before I do, U.S. confirms Jerusalem Embassy opening in May, coinciding with Israel's 70th anniversary. Uh, there was already uh, information swirling on Twitter from the uh, transport minister, Israel Katz, who seemed to confirm the move would occur in the spring. That's, like, that's where we get a lot of our own information. We're searching Twitter, picking up on things before they actually break in the news to see how things are going to happen. But finally, the Trump administration will officially relocate the U.S. Embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem in May. Uh, that was timed with Israel's 70th day. A State Department official has confirmed this to the Jerusalem Post today here on Friday, uh, February 23rd, 2018. Very, <clears throat> very huge move. And you know what's funny? The Arabic world will be all up in arms over it, but it doesn't make sense. This is exactly what the Vatican negotiated with uh, Israel back during the Oslo Accords and their secret meetings that Joel Bannerman brought out. And it's obvious that much of the world knows about it, such as Erdogan of Turkey when he says East Jerusalem is the capital of uh, the Palestinians. China saying East Jerusalem is the capital of the Palestinians. Uh, Trump saying Jerusalem doesn't specify West, East or anything, but if you notice his verbiage, Trump also parroting what the Vatican says there because the status quo for the Temple Mount will remain that way and of course it'll be done through a negotiation. Yeah, once again, a split of the city, in other words. And then we have Samantov that has been on Israeli News Live showing us that already a two-state deal had been done. Barry Chamish, Joel Bannerman, all of them showing a two-state deal had already been worked out back in 1993 with the Vatican. The two-state deal really is for the Vatican, not for uh, the Palestinians. Although they do get East Jerusalem as their capital, they do get a state. The, uh, the old city will become an international zone. The UN will be ahead of it there. And uh, so that's one reason why I think there's a lot of uh, speculation swirling about Obama be becoming the Secretary General. I'm uh, going to get into that in just a moment, though. want to go back to this here, though. Also, though, that was, what's really concerning to me as well, though, is that, I mean, not concerning, but even Russia saying that they would acknowledge West Jerusalem as Israel's capital. You know, again, every one of these countries, Russia, the United States, uh, Erdogan and, and Turkey and China and all these other global players, all of them parroting what the Vatican's already agreed upon. Let me tell you something. Yeah, there's going to come a war because why? Israelis are not going to go along with the idea of what the, what the Palestinians are going to get in exchange for all of this. But uh, I think they're going to use that war to kind of drive the people out to make it the way they want it to be. Anyway, <clears throat> one other bit of news before I get back into this issue about Obama. Uh, this here happens to be one of the top generals from North Korea going to be at the closing ceremonies of South Korea. You want to talk about getting South Korea on edge? Boy, he did it. This is coming out from the Japan Times. It says here, South Korean lawmakers demand execution of North, uh, North's Olympic delegate. <clears throat> South Korean lawmaker protests Friday over the visit by the top North Korean general from uh, for the Pyeongchang Olympics because they claim that he's a murderer after sinking one of their Corvette ships there back about, I think, what, eight, ten years ago? Back in 20, well, eight years ago, 2010, <clears throat> they killed 46 people on board. So they hate this man, and I don't think it's going to go over very well, him come walking into the country there. But you know, once again, North Korea is trying to show their military might wouldn't be surprised if Ivanka Trump, Ivanka Trump doesn't end up getting escorted by a general or two herself just to kind of show the United States is resolved when it comes to North Korea. All right, let's get into this issue about President Obama. <clears throat> there was all types of information we were seeing coming out this morning already, uh, such as Julia Anna here on Twitter, and she was posting here in the Korean language 
uh, about, excuse me, Vietnamese language, I have added videos to a playlist on YouTube. Obama announces bid to become UN general uh, uh, is something new coming out. Now, that is just one of multiples that were coming out. There were videos everywhere that were, that were already being published about this. Uh, well, they got eight new, but I, I was looking at a lot of the uh, ones from earlier this morning. And I began to try to, to, to really look into all this information to see what was going on. <clears throat> of course, you're a newswire, and your newswire has done a lot of fake news. Of course, uh, not thinking definitely about that because I was looking at other sources before I even seen your newswire. Uh, but what I'm finding out, it seems to me that even your newswire, if you look at their sourcing in there, they use Gerard, uh, Al Gerard, which happens to be an Arabic uh, language news source. I use this, uh, this Kuwaiti source as well on many things because the uh, Al uh, Gerard comes out with some really breaking stories many times long before mainstream media does. So they are a very good source. Uh, and what I do is I translate the articles that they're bringing out because if you want to know, get, a, get in ahead of stories, you can. But I went in there and I should have probably done this before I even released it, but there were already so many sources that were coming out saying it. Even Trend Dozier was uh, uh, showing that, uh, well, Patriot Newsflash also had put it out uh, that that's what's happening. Trend Dozier uh, was already picking up the story as well. So we went with the story there, but when I tried to, to corroborate the information from Al Jarada, I think what the sources that started this all from was the, the news that was breaking back in 2016, where Barack Obama was talking about being, or you know, there was news swirling that he would be the next UN Secretary General. Charisma News was one of many. Brett Bart News brought it out. Many of the news organizations brought this out. So unless there's something going on that we're not aware of, I don't like to have break a news unless I have personal sources that I know. Like in the Middle East, we have several uh, uh, sources there on the ground inside of Syria. We have them in Israel. Um, we have people in political circles as well in Europe uh, that we can get with. Many journalists around the world that we're in contact with there. And so because I could not find the corroboration of the claim that this was coming of, as original source from Al Jarada uh, news there, not to say that it might not be there, but I could not find it. So I elected to remove the video. Uh, if we get it, if it does come out in mainstream media as well, we'll go back into this story once again. Uh, I can certainly see where uh, Obama could end up running in that position eventually. Uh, I still kind of consider that if they try to oust uh, President Trump from office, that he will probably end up back in the White House. Uh, if that were to happen, there again, that's all speculation there. But, uh, you know, so it's a little bit, you know, I, I hate that we put it out there first. I wish I would have found, uh, went back and really looked into this. But I was looking, as I said, several different sources that were coming out already about him uh, running for this. And so we actually went with this story a little bit prematurely before really digging into this and seeing what was really going on. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm Stephen Badoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. If you do have any information, though, outside of this, is there, is there something out there that we're missing, definitely get with us. Let us know what's going on there because we're still seeing a lot of talk swirling about this. And um, I'd like to really know what, how did this all get started? Uh, because there, there, there could be truth to it, but we just don't, we don't want to, we don't want to really build this up at this point yet. Let's kind of lay low on this until we can see if there is, uh, you know, a true issue behind it. Because I believe it's, uh, uh, that would be kind of an odd situation to change the UN General Secretary at such a short notice. Uh, Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live. Shalom and blessings to you today.